We'll guide you through how to unsync an iPad from an iPhone. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So you may not want to have everything on your iPad that's on your iPhone, so we can go and remove it and unsync it. We'll guide you through how it can be done. So to get started, go and open up your settings like so. Then what you want to do is first of all, come to the top and go and tap on your Apple account, iCloud and more, which will get you to your Apple account settings. In here, you want to go down and find the option for iCloud and tap there. Then you can go and tap on save to iCloud. Now what you can do is go and start switching these off and that'll go and start unsyncing the different apps as they're separated. For example, if you don't want to go and have the same photos, click on iCloud photos and you can go and turn off the sync there. Press back and you can go and repeat that. And what you can also do is stop it so apps aren't downloading on both. To do that, scroll down on the left, click apps, then click app store and you can go and switch off app downloads, app updates and in-app content as well so they aren't synced. Press back and in apps you can go and find FaceTime and tap there. And what you can do is go and switch off FaceTime completely. And you can also select how you're reachable by FaceTime at and unselect different numbers and emails so it isn't wrong. Press back and come down to messages and you can do the same thing. You can go and completely switch it off and also go and change the send and receive addresses there as well. That's it. That's how you can go and unsync it.